village in Japan, there was a young man named Isan Boshi. For he was only as big as a finger. Now he went to the capital city one day when he was 10 years old, and everyone teased him at school. And coming to the most important looking house, he knocked upon the door three times. And waited for someone to answer. No sooner had he done this than into the door came a dutiful servant. She slid the door panel open, looked one way, the other, but seeing no one, closed the door. Eastern Boshi again knocked on the door three times. This time the servant slid the door open quickly to see who was playing tricks on her. And Eastern Boshi cried out in his loudest voice, Excuse me. <laughs> the servant looked down far, far, far below and was so surprised to see such a tiny one inch boy she giggled behind her back. And called for the mistresses of the house and their lovely daughters to come see. Proud women, three. Well, hey, women. And their beautiful, young, delicate, well trained daughters. Lovely brides in training, each and every one filling the doorway. And they too looked down far, far, far below and were surprised to see such tiny, one inch boy. They laughed behind their fans. Eastern Boshi proudly introduced himself. My name. It's Ethan Bushy. He nodded his head. I have come to study and learn about the world. <laughs> this made everybody giggle. One daughter stepped forward and she said, First, Ethan Bushy, you must learn to read and write before you learn about the world. <laughs> Ethan Bushy bowed his head slowly, knowing that they were right, and stayed with them for the next ten years until they decided to go to Kiyomitsu Temple to worship inviting Ethan Boshi to accompany them. But they were surprised once they reached the grounds, facing out toward the audience hall. <laughs> there was not an earthquake at all shaking them this way, and that way, and this way, and that way, until they realized as they sank down onto their knees from the mountains, a huge red Demon appeared! <laughs> Blasting them with their evil breath. <laughs> to the right. <laughs> to the left. <laughs> Back to the center. <laughs> Ethan Boshi held up his hand saying, You can't get away with this, you big demon! <laughs> the demon looked down far, far, Far below it was surprised to see such a tiny one-inch boy. It laughed, ha, 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 and arcing its great claws into the air, reached down far below, grabbed Ethan Boshi by the shoulders, hoisting him up high in the air over their open, gaping, great mouths, and in one gulp swallowed him whole. Poor Ethan Boshi. But all was not lost, for inside the demon's stomach, Ethan Boshi remembered the sewing needle given to him by his mother. He sat up, withdrew it from its sheen, and gripping it tightly with two hands, began to slash and pull and stab at the demon from inside the demon's stomach, working his way up the demon's body until he popped out of the demon's nose. Blinded in the eye, and the demon's life was fading. Fading. And was out. The women and the young girls recovered one by one by one by one and noticed that in its haste, whoops, the demon left its most prized possession, magic mallets capable of granting wishes, and grabbing them by the edges, lifting them high in the air, they cried out, let Ethan Boshi no longer be one. And 
beast and bushy. Who until that moment, <laughs> only as big as a finger, suddenly began to grow. And grow into a fully grown, strong, handsome samurai. This <laughs> made all the women giggle behind the fans, and their mothers bowed deeply, giving permission for their daughters to marry. So excited they were, crowding about him. Giggling the whole time. <laughs> and they lived together happily ever after. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs>